If you are a student, you likely have a lot of things to keep track of. You may have a lot of notes, you may have presentations, you may have PDFs, and you need to have a task management and a project management system to get more done, get more grades, and spend less time. Now, I use this software called Notion to organize my PhD life. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I use Notion as a PhD student and give you a bit of tour of my dashboard. And hopefully it will inspire you to set up some system for yourself so that you can study better, study more effective and be more productive for your studies and also have plenty of time, therefore, to play, have fun and enjoy student life. Here we go. The first way I use Notion is as this dashboard task management system for my PhD. I've creatively labeled it Road to Dr. Garud, which I will be soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. And so what you're seeing right now is all the sort of main projects that I have in my PhD. So which is like write paper, which I'm going to start soon, but I'm going to this conference in Paris. So it's about that. And there's some admin work, obviously, a dissertation, some analyze MRI data. And you can see there's some completed projects. Like I collected some fMRI data. I prepared my task for fMRI. I acquired what's called a confirmatory data set. I'm not going to go into what that is, but basically I did some analysis and I have these bigger projects that I've chunked my PhD into. Now, each of this project, if I go to tasks, has tasks within them. So if I look at this, this is a task about making this poster. And this is a change I want to make in the poster based on my supervisor's feedback. So as you can say, it's a task and it's not started yet. I'm going to do it on Monday and so on. So I have these figure that I have to create. And if I wanted, I could take some notes about this. So in this case, I don't have much to report. But if I did have something to report, I would write down the results. So for example, I had to do these ANOVAs, which is a statistical method. And these are some results I plotted. And then these, all of this is easily shareable so if i share this what i can do is obtain a link to this i would be able to just simply get a link and i can get it here also if i just wanted to share with specific people and then i can just share it with some people for example my supervisors or someone and they can just simply click on that link and have just this live document that they could see i normally do a task and i write down notes about that task while i'm doing it especially if that task has certain results and certain outputs related to it and then i just grab a link to that and send that off to my supervisors as a result my entire workflow is crystallized so so the next way in which I use Notion is like a repository. When you're doing a PhD, there are lots of things that you're asked again and again. So for example, in my PhD, I have like about 200 questionnaires about mental health that I ask people. And now every other study that's going to happen after mine, they're going to consult me about how did I make these choices? How did you decide between questionnaire A and questionnaire B and so on and so forth? What was the final list that you arrived at? And for anything like that, I have a repository like this. So for example, I have this thing called the questionnaire summary, which has a list of all the questionnaires that I have completely used ever. And then I have like subscales about them. I've neatly listed it down. So for anyone who else who wants to start study using questionnaires, if they ever ask me about questionnaires, which happens a lot, then I just grab this link, send it over to them and it's always ready. I don't have to attach any files. I don't have to find where it is in my computer system, find a random word file. It just always lives there here in Notion on my repository. I have also have some other things in the repository. Again, links to my GitHub, some PowerPoints and results, my ethical approval for the study and so on and so forth. Other documents that I have used. I have an interesting section called as live results. Every time a results get tagged, it now appears here and I basically have all the results now as a clean list so if my supervisors are looking at this site then they would be easily able to tell what am I working on and so on and so forth one other way I've used notion is as a workout tracker now of course I work out and I've been getting very serious with it listening to Andrew Huberman and making a plan to myself Andy Galpin and so on and so what I do now whenever I'm in the gym I basically have the spreadsheet on and you can see my plan for the next five weeks is here there's all sorts of exercise that I'm going to do it's going to be a full body workout these are my intentions I'm going to be in a five percent overload and you can see what I've done in the past which is just log these workouts 
every time I do a workout, I just come and log what I have done. And there's this nice little history and nice little repository of everything I've done and working out. In Notion, I can have like a specific five week plan. So when I'm at the end of the five weeks, I know I'm at the end. So it motivates me a bit more. There was this period of Easter when all gyms were closed. I can actually show you here. And first of all, if I did not have any tracking device, I would have probably skipped these workouts. But now given gyms were closed, but I knew that I was close to the end and I wanted to make this happen. I want to complete this plan. So I basically did body weight workouts at home. And so it was really flexible. I didn't have to change any exercise or anything. I just wrote, hey, gym closed, body weight, and this is what I did. So yeah, that's it. Three major uses of Notion. One is as a task manager for my PA. PhD. Then secondly, to use it as a repository where I have some common documents stored and I can just send links to them easily or send the link to the whole repository and people have all the important documents related to my PhD all in one place. And third, as a personal health slash workout trackers, there are other times where I've tracked some meals. There was a time I've tracked sleep. I've tracked and I used to do photography project. I used to track like contact details of potential friends and who would like to model. And I could take pretty pictures of them. It's basically a Swiss army knife and you can use Notion for whichever way you like. You can do projects in it. You can do like a hiring kind of thing in it. You can keep track of anything.